Yes. So we have a completed the configuration required for us to work on a Java. Now, let me start with some examples and then let's jump on to relevant Java concepts for these examples. So what exactly the example that I want to kick start is, assume that I want to call my friend mobile. Okay, I just want to call a particular number from my mobile. Every day, I will be calling him for about 10 times. Every time I need to dial his number and call that. Instead of doing that, as I am calling this resource for multiple times, what I can do, I can, okay, I can simply save his contact. I give a name and assign this number to that name so that in future, whenever I want to call him, I no need to enter his 10-digit number. I can simply call his name. Internally, the connection will be established with the number stored inside the name. Right. So you are going to assign a number to a name. Whenever you are calling a name, you can see that you guys are just calling a name. But internally, the number is getting called. So it means what are we doing means we are assigning a value to a variable. Okay, so we are assigning a value to a variable here. Okay, and whenever you are calling a variable, the value inside that particular variable will be called. Good enough. Done the deal. And then the next point that we need to consider here is, so once after we have studied, the next point here is, assume that, okay, I am on a contacts screen in my mobile. I'm on a contacts screen in my mobile. To save a contact, I need, okay, in order to save a contact, it need maybe 0 0.5 KB of a memory. Okay, in order to save a contact, we need a 0 0.5 KB of a memory. In order to stay store a note in your mobile, you might need a 5 KB of a memory. In order to capture a video, you might need 5 MB of a memory. So here, how your mobile is allocating that memory, depending on the operation whichever you are performing, it's going to allocate the memory. The only thing is based on the operation. So assume that you are on a contacts screen and if you click on a create, then it will recognize, okay, this guy this guy is in a create screen. Now we need to assign a memory of a 5KB. As of now, this guy is in a sticky note. We need to assign a maximum of a 5KB. As of now, this guy is a capturing a video. You will well recognize that, okay, for this guy, we need to assign a 5MB of a memory. Like that, your mobile will be recognizing and it will be allocating respective memories for each and every action that you are performing here. Is this example clear for everybody or do you have any questions on it? So earlier, in order to save a contact, while creating some memory, will be allocated by the program. Some memory will be allocated by the program. Good. Any questions on this point, guys? Are you good so far? Perfect. Done the deal. And then, once we are done up to here, okay, so once we are done up to here, the next point that we need to consider is Okay. So the next point that we need to consider is why we studied these concepts. We should know, right? Why we have studied these concepts. These concepts are related to, okay, these concepts are related to 
variables and data types in Java. Variables and data types in Java. The next point here is these concepts are related to variables and as well as the data types concepts that we have in a Java. Now let us start with what is a variable in Java? Okay, so what is a variable in Java? A variable is a memory location in which we will store some value. So what is a variable? It's a memory location in which you will store some value into it. So which value? It's up to you. Whichever the value you want, you can store that value into a variable. Okay, good. And then what is a data type then? So the point here is how much memory it should allocate for the variable will be defined in this. So it means you are creating a variable. For that a variable in system, some memory should be allocated. Whatever the memory allocation is required, that particular memory allocation will be done using this data type itself. So the ultimate point is data type represents how much memory it should allocate for a variable and a variable, it's a memory location. So variable will allocate a memory, but for that a variable, it's a mandatory for us to specify the data type, then only it will, it will allocate the memory. So I can say an example for this variable and as well as a data type. See here, I asked you guys to transfer 500. So the variable is of a 500. Then the data types will tell you the currency type. See, basically I'm specifying it as a 500. What is this 500? 500 is US dollars, 500 Indian currency, 500 Canadian dollars. What exactly the currency type is, we need to specify. Then only you guys can understand, right? Assume that you guys are staying in a UK. You don't know how much you need to transfer. Just I told you that you need to transfer 500 and it will be difficult for you. Surendra, how I need to transfer? Is it 500 Indian rupees? Is it 500 US dollars, Canadian dollars or UK currency? What is that currency? just to specify that so the variable is a 500 the data type is a currency okay the data type defines this currency basically so the same way these two are a mandatory things if at all i am not specifying the data type here the currency type how would you guys transfer money to me so the same point applies here in java if you want to create a variable it's mandatory to specify the data type Okay, it's mandatory to specify the data type, which actually tells us or a Java program, how much memory it needs to be allocated for a variable will be decided by this particular data type itself. Okay, this is what a variable and as well as a data type of concept, guys. Is this point clear for you all or any questions? Jagadish, Siva, Shobhan, Sunanda and Raj. What is a variable and what is a data type? Any questions for me on this? No. Okay, perfect. Uh, Surendra, I'm honestly a little confused, but uh, I'll go through the recording one more time. Yeah, you just stay online, Anusha. Okay, we'll talk with you after the session. Okay, so we'll connect with you and then, you know, we'll plan the things accordingly. Yeah. So this is the high level concept that we have as part of these variables and as well as the data types. Let's deep dive into these variables and the data types in our next session, guys.